Hello, everybody. Welcome back uh, to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. We are live here from beautiful Honolulu at PTC 24. I am here with Robert Davidson, founder and CEO of Carbon Technologies. Thanks for joining me, Robert. No, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we were actually uh, went to your very beautiful luau party that you all hosted on the islands. Uh, when was that? Two days ago? That's Saturday night. Yeah. yeah I mean, a beautiful night. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, um, really amazing events. Um, and so uh, you all have a big presence here at PTC. So we want to get some insight out to our, our uh, JSA TV viewers about what you've got going on. So I think because you've never been on JSA TV before, it might be in order for you to just give us a quick rundown of who Carbon is and, and why you all were founded. All right. Uh, great. And thank you for the time. So as, as you mentioned, Carbon is, is new. So we're a new startup company. We're looking to solve a critical aspect of the industry that I think has been hanging out there for way too long. Mm -hmm. I historically ran CenturyLink and Quest International Network for 18 years, mm -hmm. and my single largest issue was working with and dealing with the data center operators. If you think about it, most of the data center operators are focused on you know, how to sell services, and it's a very bifurcated market. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, someone's got to take a look at how people want to consume. Mm -hmm. So I took a step back and said, I'm going to solve these problems. So that's really what Carbon does and what Lattice, our platform that mm -hmm. went live last month, effectively mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, there are hundreds of data center operators out there. Any global telco or enterprise is going to be working with 40, 60, 80, 100 of them. That means 100 different web portals, business processes, mm -hmm. billing formats. That gets to be an incredibly manual, an incredibly analog process to sort through and figure out. I had a team of five people who did nothing all day but manually try to grind through bills, order processes, trouble ticketing. Mm -hmm. But now, Carbon Lattice is live and has the ability to talk to the API stacks of all the major operators and give people a single view. Mm -hmm. Effectively, think of us as the Google Translate for data center infrastructure information. Mm -hmm. So bills can come in in a consistent format. You can see your order queue all look the same. Mm. If there's an escalation you needed, you'll know where it is. We'll connect the data to where you need it to be without a number of people needing to do manual rekeys all the time. Mm. Very focused. Perfect. Well, that was beautifully stated. It's almost like you've you've uh, given that before. Given that, <laughs> it's my pain. Yeah. All I'm doing is solving my single largest problem as an operator of telcos for 18 years. Right. That's amazing. Awesome. So, um, so tell us a little bit. Are there any uh, like obviously the the lattice platform is live. Are there any uh, more recent updates about like latest advancements coming out? Anything that you want to kind of give us the the latest on there? Yeah, great. And thank you. So mm -hmm. the, the first product offering or function that we've released is with regard to cross-connect orchestration. Uh, and that leads into the partnership that we've just recently signed with ConnectBase, mm -hmm. you know, a global uh, platform for pricing, provisioning, and ordering of network services that could get you data center to data center in seconds. We're partnered with them to get the ability to order flow the cross-connect. So for the first time, working with them rack to rack, including the network. So completing that final piece so people can automatically order and not have to break up orders into little bits and pieces. So mm -hmm. what you'll be seeing coming from uh, Carbon next is what we call expense management, Carbon mm -hmm. X, which effectively will be the market's first platform that will be able to pull your inventory, pull your bill, match it to your bill to be able to give you an exception report. If you think about it, how many companies out there are getting hundreds of PDF files from all these data center operators that teams of analysts have to grind through to try to figure out what doesn't match? No one wants to look through another 3,000 line invoice. What they want is a report that says these 20 items don't match. Just focus here. We think this will be a huge win. I know when I was mm -hmm. at CenturyLink, I would have loved to be that focused in just honing in on what I needed to work on. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So um, one last question. What is Carbon's kind of stake in the sustainability conversation um, that everybody's talking about at this conference and all digital infrastructure conferences right now? So how are you helping um, data center operators to be more envi environmentally focused? Well, we actually have a very interesting spin on that because. Mm -hmm. Many of the data center operators that we're speaking to actually produce information around ESG, around mm. compliance, around standards. The issue is, is that they're all in different formats. Mm. So it's very hard for their customer base to actually use that information in any really conceivable format. Mm. 
So what we're doing is we're saying, okay, we're going to connect to all of you. We're going to pull in that information and we're going to get it into what we conveniently call sort of a CDR for ESG. For all you telco heads out there, a cold detail record for ESG, a standard unit so that people can start to actually use and see what their consumption is in a fashion that they can now plug into their models. They can look and put into their systems. Where we want to see people use that information is where do I deploy my equipment? If I deploy it here versus here, am I actually achieving a better footprint? So those analysis are very difficult and very manual right now. And we see this becoming very critical with the advent of AI. People are looking for AI engines to make more decisions about how they're deploying infrastructure. For AI to be of any use to anyone, it needs access to that information. And it needs access to the information in a consumable format that it can actually make analysis around. That's what we do. Perfect. I think that's the perfect way to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us today, Robert. Thank you for your time. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you to our viewers for hanging out with us here live from PTC at 24. Happy networking. All right.